Hi, I'm Julian Sprung from Two Little Fishies, and today we're going to talk about Kalkwasser. Now, for the average person who might not be an Aquarius, the name Kalkwasser, you know, just strikes the ear as very strange. Um, it's not an English term, it's a, a German term, literally translating uh, lime water and lime not being like lemon and lime, it's uh, lime like uh, calcium, calcium carbonate. Uh, so what Kalkwasser is, is a powder made from calcium hydroxide. That's um, limestone that has been burned, oxidized, uh, to make calcium oxide, calcium hydroxide. I don't know if this means anything to you, but you might want to know a little bit about it if you're keeping a reef aquarium where we use Kalkwasser to supplement calcium and alkalinity. Um, the first hobbyist to propose the use of Kalkwasser, to the best of my knowledge, uh, is Peter Wilkins. He really championed the idea of adding calcium hydroxide to the makeup water. Um, he found that adding the Kalkwasser as top off water uh, for your average reef aquarium was quite good at maintaining. Uh, the levels because um, if you have a sufficient amount of evaporation there was enough calcium and alkalinity to to keep up. If the coral growth was too great, if you have a really dense population of reef building stony corals, um, the kalkwasser as top off water may not be enough to keep up and, and, and in those cases you can supplement with a two-part calcium and alkalinity supplement like Sea Balance and there are a number of other brands out there on the market or you can use a calcium reactor where you dissolve um, coral skeletons, the solid calcium carbonate to supply the calcium and alkalinity. But Kalkwasser has other benefits. It's not just supplying calcium and alkalinity. The solution that you make when you add the Kalkwasser powder, and I figure what the heck, you know, we're just talking, I'm holding the bottle, I should show, can you zoom in on that? It, it looks a whole lot like co cocaine, if you've ever seen that. But, you got to use that. Um, in any case, uh, yeah, if you ever want to bring Kalkwasser with you in the airport, you better be prepared to explain that it's for your aquarium. Um, <laughs> you know, while we're talking about funny Kalkwasser stories, I've got to share this, and Richard, it's up to you whether you're going to want to <laughs> let it fly. Um, I answer questions frequently, most often by email, occasionally by phone call. Sometimes people will call me up. Sometimes people call me up and they have a funny accent. Sometimes it's a prank, uh, but usually it's not. Usually the people are just naturally funny. And there was one day I got a call from a guy um, who wanted to ask me about using Kalkwasser for his aquarium. And darn if he didn't call it cockwasher. Um, and I had to go through that entire conversation with a straight, well, my face was not, you know, a straight face because I was on the phone. I was dying laughing. Um, and I took him very seriously and was able to answer his cockwasher questions. So, uh, you know, people will. Uh, call this a funny thing. It's a German word, Kalkwasser. Um, you can call it lime water if you want to be proper, but uh, Kalkwasser has really stuck because it's such a unique sounding name. And Richard has managed not to destroy the video with the laughs, but he almost did. So, okay, back to the other uses. And I know that's going to put an image in your minds, but no, you don't use it to wash anything. Um, you will find that when you add Kalkwasser to the aquarium, he's going to laugh, I'm telling you. When you add it to the aquarium, it enhances protein skimming. And the reason why it does that is protein skimming is sensitive to uh, pH levels. So the addition of Kalkwasser elevates the pH. And th with that elevated pH level, you will get a better production of skimmate from the skimmer. Um, there may be other factors aside from the pH. There may be um, some enhancement of precipitation of phosphate. Um, that has been proven to be the case. 
uh, that uh, calcium hydroxide added to the water, you get uh, a precipitation. Uh, there's also co-precipitation of metals in the water. So if you had, uh, for example, a water supply that had copper in it and you add calcium hydroxide to it, you will find a light blue precipitate on the bottom and that is um, uh, copper hydroxide, copper carbonate that's precipitated by the uh, calcium hydroxide. So um, there are additional benefits and basically what Peter Wilkins discovered was that by trying to maintain calcium and al alkalinity using calcium hydroxide supplementation, his corals grew better, they looked healthier, the, the general health and condition of his aquarium was better, and there was a reduction in the growth of undesirable algae, such as uh, cyanobacteria, um, dinoflagellates, and green hair algae. Those are the three big ones that everybody hates. Um, those effects on algae are probably due to the enhanced protein skimming, the export of phosphate, um, and possibly to reduction of metals in the water by precipitation uh, due to the you know, continuous addition of Kalkwasser. I should mention that Kalkwasser is best added uh, with some kind of a dosing system. Uh, the, as I mentioned, it elevates pH, so if you make a solution of Kalkwasser and pour it all into the aquarium, you might make the pH go up too high. The, the solution of a saturated solution of Kalkwasser in fresh water has a pH of 12. Uh, the reef aquarium normally would have a pH between 8 and, and say 8.3. Um, so you could imagine adding a solution of pH 12, you could potentially harm the aquarium. So this is why it needs to be added by some dosing fashion. Uh, if you look at, at our Kalkwasser product and read the instructions which I wrote, uh, you get the benefit of some experimentation that I did and what I found was that if you take a quarter teaspoon of the powder and put that in in some water you can put it in say a, a pint or a cup of water swish it around you can add a quarter teaspoon of powder to 50 gallons of aquarium all at once you don't have to dose it slowly you can just pour that in all at once somewhere where there's a strong stream and the pH will go up, but it won't go up too high. It might go up to 8.4 or 8.5. And you can do that every hour. So you can do that now, one cup, quarter teaspoon and 50 gallons. An hour later, do it. And that tells you about how much you could add as a maximum every day. And that comes in handy in knowing with a dosing system, how much Kalkwasser can I add safely to an aquarium? That's the, the general figure that I discovered. If an aquarium has a higher population of fishes where there's a lot of respiration and a deep sand bed, you might be able to exceed that by a significant amount, maybe even 20%. Um, but it's a good rule of thumb, a quarter teaspoon per 50 gallons. Now, most of us don't add it by hand. We have some kind of a dosing system. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do it today, but we might uh, look at another day at a Kalkwasser reactor that we make. And that's a, a common way of, of adding it, is a Kalkwasser reactor. Some people will also um, use a, a simple dosing system and just mix up Kalkwasser in a freshwater vat and dose it from there. Disadvantage there is that the Kalkwasser, as it ages and is exposed to the air, it loses potency. The calcium hydroxide converts to calcium carbonate. By dosing Kalkwasser at night, you have the advantage of elevating the pH when it would naturally be lower in the aquarium because of all the respiration at night. So it's really a good idea to use a dosing system for dosing Kalkwasser and have the timing uh, skewed for dosing at night only. It's okay to dose during the day, but if you dose it mainly at night, you'll achieve a more stable pH in the aquarium. Um, which will be beneficial for the corals. The corals like that higher pH, it helps them to calcify. Uh, you also have a, a slight advantage in that dosing the Kalkwasser when there's more CO2 dissolved in the water will give you a, a benefit of increasing the alkalinity just a little bit better. You'll have a, a formation of calcium carbonate in the water uh, from that addition, the com combination of the supplied calcium ions 
and the CO2 that's, that is, um, I think the proper word is sequestered by the addition of Kalkwasser when, when you add it at night. That's all the, the, the stuff that's fit to print by Kalkwasser. If I stated anything incorrectly from a, a chemistry point of view, you can write to me at info at twolittlefishies.com. Uh, I meant well. I hope I stated it correctly. <laughs> and I, uh, I'm sure that if you try Kalkwasser, your corals will be so much happier for it. Thanks.